this one is going to be loaded through the front. Uh, it's a little bit uh, hard to get around to, so you're just going to reach around to the side here, pull your pen out, select your weight. This one, again, you want to make sure your seat is lined up. You're just going to tilt your seat forward and then you raise and lower. Again, you want to make sure your shoulders are lined up here with the axis where it's rotating. This is your kickstand. This is what's going to pull the mechanism over. So you're going to slide in. Make sure that your butt is all the way to the back of the pad. You're going to want to grab your seat belt for this one. This is a pretty wild ride. So you're going to strap yourself in. Again, this is like an airplane seat belt or like an old car. Just kind of slide it like that. Click it in. Pull it tight. This is going to be your kickstand here. Like I said, it's going to pull the mechanism forward. If you're kind of a medium build or not a super tall person, you typically want to grab it in an underhand style. You can do it however you like, but typically it's going to feel best for you like this. Uh, I like to grab the underhand like I said. And then you're going to pull down, all the way down, and all the way back. This machine will go very, very far back because you got a kickstand. It's got a very deep range of motion. Go back as far as you can go. And again, drive it forward. Save that. You can use the elbow pads if you want. Try to drive more with those elbows like the other machine. Try to kind of take the hands out of it. That way it's more of an elbow drive if you'd like. Or you can go the overhand style just like so. Whenever you're ready to get out, you're going to get ready to put your kickstand again. You're going to grab that. Once uh, you pushed it down, then you're gonna lock into it, let your arms go, slowly lower it back down to your legs, and then you're just gonna unclick your seatbelt, and then that is it.